morning everyone. Today is the day that we're gonna go dog sledding. We've been really good at waking up really early so we could prepare for this day in particular. It's really, really important today that we dress really warm. So I'm, I'm gonna go ham. I don't care if my balls sweat in the car. I'm gonna start off with this turtleneck. It's wool, so that'll protect me. Which one's front, which one's back? <laughs> and then I'm gonna wear my first pair of wool socks. Mm. Oh my god, they're so comfy. I got these at Walmart. <laughs> For pants, I think I'm gonna have to wear something skinny because I'm gonna be wearing like snow pants over it. I found one for a really good price at Costco. They were on clearance in Costco for like $20 and they were almost sold out. Max couldn't get one in his size. They were like, oh, it's not the season. Now it's swimsuit season. We're in the middle of a winter snowstorm lately. This turtleneck, this one's not very good material. Like I'll be honest with you, this is for the look. And I also hate wearing black. I just don't, I don't feel happy in black, you know? For femme, because I'm femme. Wait, I look like I have a BBL. <laughs> Ready to go? Look, I have I have hips. Mm-hmm. Child bearing <laughs> hips. Nice. We woke up so early this morning. You're not gonna bring coffee to go? No, I had my coffee already. Look, I almost never wear those boots, but today's an occasion. The two AV to just walk around. Yeah, but you look so you look so mask in it. I'll look mask no matter what I do. You could stop on a twink with that. Army boy boots, like, kind of fantasy. If you want to see me stomp on a twink, go to maxanyas.com. Okay. I'm gonna bring some cookies. They're so tight. My hole? Yes. That oh, smells so good. Morning kiss. Mm. Let's go! We're a bit late, but we'll get there by 11. 30 minutes late. One hour and 40 minute road trip. Dogs are smaller than I thought. They're so tiny. Did you see that guy was like uh, six foot five? I think he got the big dog. <laughs> really? I want the big dogs. I feel like a baby in a baby carriage. Yes, your baby. This one dog, he keeps looking bad. Hi. So you have to like encourage the dog to run. You say up, 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 and they'll run. Up, 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 up. Good boys. Oh, Angerons. Don't you feel like they're the explorer? No. This ride is about an hour long. Halfway through, we're supposed to be able to switch. And Max is gonna like sit, and then I'm gonna be standing up. But I don't think we're gonna do that. I'm gonna stay here forever. I'm gonna keep riding for the rest of my life. At some point, I would want to sit though. No. When it's going uphill, we have to help them by pushing from behind. Well, not we, but Max. Max have to do it. Push, daddy, push. Up, up, up. I feel like when I yell up, they don't listen to me. Yeah, I don't have enough authority in my voice. Try it. Up, up. <laughs> <laughs> don't drop the cab. Doesn't it feel like Narnia? Narnia. Bye. They were all pretty cute, but Brutus is still the cutest. <laughs> Don't you agree? What does that mean? The refuge of the flying dogs. So we're not allowed to pet the actual sledding dogs, right? Right. But these you're allowed to pet. These you're allowed to pet, yes. Hey! Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. 
give her a butt scratch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that butt. Oh, 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 oh. too good. That's too it's good. Too good. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> what about that one? Is that one for petting? I want to pet all the dogs. Your eyes the colors of um, mud. <laughs> That's cute. You're so quiet. Mm. What you thinking What's about? your name? What's your name? Hey, yes. Oh no, it's cold. <laughs> I got you in the crash. Try and push me in the snow. <laughs> I fumbled. <laughs> My hat is all up. You wanna do a snow angel with me? <laughs> I need help. Mais genre, deux morceaux d'oignon dans ton plat de main. You have to take her downstairs. Look what I have with me. This is Max's parents dog. She's a grumpy little shih tzu. She's I think two or three years old. She's staying with us for the week while Max's parents is traveling. What are you doing? You okay? Don't you think she kind of looks like Chewbacca? Like look, her face. Oh okay, 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 I'll let you go. Okay. There's been a lot of random changes in my life lately. Yesterday was kind of a hectic day for me. On last week's vlog, I kind of mentioned that I got like some pretty weird news about my eyes because I went to an optometrist and he made me cry. He was hitting me with some hard hitting truths. Okay, maybe I, I know that I probably need to hear it, but he had terrible bedside manners, okay? He was so mean to me. He put like these drops, like these green drops in my eye basically to see if I have scratches in my cornea. Right after he did that, he literally just threw like a tissue paper on my lap. He went like this. I was like, oh. Anyway, yeah, he, he hurt my feelings. Aside from the fact that I was receiving a lot of bad news about my eyes, just his whole attitude and the way he treated me was just not nice, so. After that, I went to the bathroom stall in Costco and I just cried. I haven't worn a pair of glasses in 10 years. I didn't own a pair of glasses for 10 years. The last time I had a pair of glasses, it was so heavy and so thick that I never wore it. And then at some point I just lost it. So after he bullied me into getting glasses, which okay, rightfully so, I went and got myself a pair of glasses. This is the one I ended up going with. There was this very nice Chinese girl who helped me pick this these out. And Max was there too, of course. I got one from the brand Oliver Peoples. And this is what it looks like. They're just really simple, classic black frames. I chose this one because it reminded me of Harry Potter. When I was picking my frames, I didn't want to take myself too seriously. Like, I didn't want to look cool. And I don't want to look like this is my new thing. I kind of just want this to be my fun thing as like a coping mechanism. Um, because that way I'll wear these glasses and I'll feel happy that I look like Harry Potter. Let me put it on. Okay. Oh my God. So blurry. I got that yesterday and I was wearing it all day yesterday and I felt like I was in the fishbowl. I had to take like a bunch of Tylenol. But apparently it's normal, like I have to get used to it. And then second thing I picked up yesterday was I got myself a new laptop. They announced a new MacBook and because we're traveling to Japan in like a month and a half or so, I needed a laptop because right now I edit on my big bulky PC computer that Max built. No, he didn't build it, he bought it. I'm giving him too much credit. I printed out this vintage car poster and I slipped it under the cover. I ordered this case from Amazon and the irony of putting on a $15 laptop case on a $4,000 laptop is not lost on me. Morning. Morning. For lunch, we're gonna make army, army based soup, right? Do we need to make more rice or this is fine? That's fine. Get all the ingredients, daddy. 
Army stew. Army stew kimchi. And army stew broth. Should we make extra meat with uh, our leftover pork bulgogi? Yeah, we can eat it on the side. We've succeeded in our goal to wake up early. I mean, it's only been a week. My first day of waking me up really early, I just felt no energy and no motivation to do anything. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> and look at us traveling in one month in Japan and where sleep schedule is going to be fucked all over again. I know. But I love getting jet lag. Getting jet lag is like the best feeling ever because when you wake up early in the morning in a place that you don't know, it feels like you're in a different plane of dimension. And then you walk through the streets and everything's closed. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that feeling. <laughs> It's uh, the zombie effect, like end of the world, whether you're gonna yeah. encounter in the morning. Oh my god, totally. Little sausage fell. You want it? No. I want your sausage. You can get more of that on maxingas.com. It says put all the ingredients and tofu plus broth plus water and boil. How much water? It says half of the broth container. Okay. Look at me trying to spread it even when anyway in the water it's gonna mix. Am I a bit dumb? I like dumb boys. Me too. <laughs> For all of Or leftover from last night. Soup. I haven't had ramen in so long. Careful, you're wearing white. Remember during COVID, we have it like every two days. <laughs> right. That's why I gained so much weight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the rat path for you losing it. When's the first time you had army stew? It was in a restaurant in New York. No, actually, I was in the army. Mm hmm. The BTS army? Yeah. <laughs> I had the first time when I was in Korea. We were all drinking with friends and someone ordered that mm -hmm. to share. I don't like getting like big pieces of meat. I like to get small pieces of meat. I never heard you complain before. Maxinias.com So it's like a thing in Korean culture that you're supposed to slurp the noodle without like biting it. I don't know how they do it. I'm gonna try it. Suck it, girl. Mmm. <laughs> Usually you have more suction power than that. Mm. I was sucking from my chest, but you're supposed to suck with like your mouth, like your lips, like. Do that again. <laughs> Show me on my finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever practiced that? Sucking? Yeah. No, I mean <laughs> slurping noodle. No. <laughs> Why are you disgusting? I don't know, man. It's morning. I'm always horny in the morning. The meat is my favorite. Yeah, don't worry. I know you love the meat. I got some meat for you later. Shut up. <laughs> I got a special delivery you for you. You need to chill. <laughs> like, maybe like before we start filming, you need to like go masturbate and then just... Maybe you should do that now. Hey, that's on you. This is your job. I love you anyway. Thank you all for tuning in this week's video. This week we had a lot of dog love. From Molly, from Brutus, and from the dog sleigh. It's a dog week. We love you guys. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Yeah, yeah, bye. Spicy kiss. I burped a little in my mouth. Ew.